All right, YouTube, I got the Chinese knockoff uh, MDI scan tool for uh, GM products selected up today. Had an airbag light in the truck, fluke thing. Um, I don't know, I checked all the fuses or anything, fired it back up, it's went away. No codes were in the system, so, but since I got it all hooked up, I'll kind of show you how the software works on it. Um, a lot of people are asking how, how it all works. Kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Uh, I think you're supposed to have it on a 32-bit system. I got it on a 64-bit system, you know, as far as computer goes. Uh, one of the uh, techs told me that that kind of adds a little bit of complication to it. Some of the systems don't work that way. But uh, I got it here hooked up to my 98 Chevrolet uh, K1500 uh, work truck. But um, so here's the unit. You know, you just plug it in, normal. I got it hiding behind here. There it is. And it's got like a micro USB looking port there goes to the USB so won't be the best video but we'll kind of over here we got TechWin 2 is what software I use that opens up to this and we go to where's my there it is North America you know pop up like this and this is what the shop uses uh, mine Pops up with that. We just hit enter. That's your USB. Hit enter. <clears throat> you see, today I'm recording on my phone, so it's not the best quality video today, but she'll work. So that's what it says. You hit enter. We're going to do diagnostics. I'll just show you how you pull up codes or see some live data. So this is a 98. And we got a light truck. Or do powertrain. And this is an L31 motor in it. One of the reasons why I bought the truck. Oh, so get that glare off the screen. It says C, G, K, or P. This is a K body. Four wheel drive. Four speed automatic. Under 8600. And without California air pump. So better view on this we'll go to like um if you're gonna pull codes go to you know diagnostics go to that let's see if we can pull some codes hopefully it ain't got too many in it it shouldn't have any takes a little while yeah i got a um fuel pressure with my my evap system i know that's a mess on this truck it always has been i haven't had time to fix it Let's say pull up your codes. Let's check it engine it's not on, but it don't matter because one of those EVAP tests. Let's see, we've got to display data. Engine data. And there's your data stuff. You know, you can, we can, you know, engine coolant temp, voltage. I mean, it shows you all sorts of stuff. I mean, this is the tool the dealership uses. This is the same stuff that Tech 2 did when this thing was new. It's just on the computer. Fuel trim, I mean, EGR, duty cycle. It does everything. Spark advance, knock. There's your um, O2s, bank one. Rich lean, make sure those are flopping back and forth. You know, once you realize how to use the tool, it's a really good tool. Um, that's really about it. I might go into depth with some more videos when I have a car come in that has a little bit different uh, problems. But uh, as always, like the video if you can, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.